Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Eve Zucker. I'm the president of CKS, Center for Khmer Studies. And I am actually also um, a research affiliate here at the Weatherhead Center. And um, I'm also on the Nissian uh, Executive Committee. So I wear a number of hats that are all connected to here and today. So um, I am delighted to, here, to be here today and have the opportunity to introduce our Deputy Directors, Samadhi Soon, and our head librarian, Sibling Tour, who are going to tell all of us here a little bit about CKS's programs and also about our library. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Center for Khmer Studies, we are a nonprofit um, and we are funded by uh, the U.S. government and also by private donations and sometimes also by other foundations and organizations. And our mission is basically to increase um, uh, understanding and knowledge about Cambodia, both in Cambodia and beyond uh, in the United States and the world at large. Um, we support higher education, um, in Cambodian studies, and also we have undergraduate programs and also some programs for um, youth and children in Cambodia. And we do this through our library um, and our library programming through programs, conferences, webinars, um, various types of uh, speaking events and film screenings, things like that in Cambodia. And we also do it um, by funding scholars, both particularly um, Cambodian, American, and French scholars, which is tied to our funding. So somebody is going to talk more about that. So I won't say anything more about that now. Um, so I'm going to now turn it over to somebody. Thank you. Uh, thank you for everyone for joining us here physically and also via Zoom as well. My name is Amdi. I'm the Deputy Director at the Center for Khmer Study. And thank you to Nisi for having us for the presentation of our program today. So it's like, as you can see, it's like the photos, like here is like the campus of uh, CKS in the headquarter and located in Wadamna in Simrips. And Riley here, you know very well so all those buildings. <laughs> so it's like the top one is like the main building. Uh, that half of the building is used for the library, uh, for the office, and half of the building is for the research library. And the bottom of uh, the two photos at the bottom, like one is a research library so like on the left side, and then on the right side is a reading room where all the uh, public come to access and all our uh, results in the library is open uh, for all the for public and free access as well. So I will not go to introduce uh, about CKS again. It will already cover everything briefly about uh, CKS, what is CKS about. So it's like I will cover side about the program. So it's like via the research center, we have a number of programs that respond to uh, research capacity building and so on. But we have other programs as well as like I will talk into more detail about the KLCP junior residence and near dissertation. And the rest, it would be the library that uh, Sealing will come and do the presentation after. But in addition, into those two uh, core program, we also have the internship program that we accept. Uh, the U.S. intern coming to uh, CKS and work in helping in the area that they are interested, for example, the library, the communication, and so on. And we have the webinar and workshop at the bottom that you can see. It's like we have the webinar and organize on monthly basis, like one or twice, and we do the live streaming on our Facebook page. And all those webinars are recorded and made available on our website and also YouTube channel and Facebook as well. So when you go to CKS website, you search on certain topic and then if it is covered by the webinar and then the webinar is going to pop out, you can watch the recorded video as well. And the speaker from the webinar, most of the speakers are the CKS fellow who received the grant doing the research in Cambodia and then they at the end of their research fellowship they also do the presentation of their research preliminary finding and all those recorded you can check it out on our social media and websites and beyond that we have the public uh, we have the research affiliation 
which we become the host institute to the researcher, scholar, or student who are looking for the host institute in Cambodia. And the process of being of becoming the research affiliate with CKA is through applying, uh, submitting your research proposal and your CVs to us. And then we had a com committee to evaluate and to see whether your research topic is aligning with the CKS interest or uh, field uh, research or not. And then we will provide a bit of uh, diagnosis in while you're doing the research in Cambodia. So uh, normally the process is quite simple and it will take just like one week normally like to get a response. So, and there is no any limitation of like what are the degree or what your nationality ought to be that will add with CKS. And we have the publishing and translation program, which we do the translation of a number of research paper or research article from English to Khmer and from French to Khmer language to make all the local researchers who have the language barrier to access to different resources. So uh, we have like success, which is a journal, the research journal that we have as on that up to uh, volume 16. But you can search on our online catalog or online library that a number of volume play from the first volume up to five or ten volume that's already made available online in full version. And you can check it out. And there are other publications that uh, CKS has translated and you will see it's on uh, in more detail. And if you wonder, and then there is a QR code here that you can just scan and go directly to the page of the CKS program. And here about the research fellowship program, which is what Celia uh, sitting over there, she received the grant from CKA to do the research to the grant, to do the research in Cambodia. So we have two types of research fellowship. One is a senior research fellow, which is more for the those who already have the PhD degree and looking for the grant to do the research for the postdoctoral in Cambodia or Cambodia with other neighboring like that is a country. So, uh, and the second one would be dissertation research fellow, which is for those who's, who are the PhD student who looking or doing the research, uh, PA, uh, dissertation research. So, but this fellowship we provided to all the three nationality, like French, American, and, uh, Cambodian. And, the application open every year from mid August until the end of November. And, uh, you may check to see more like what the requirement of the application to apply for the fellowship on CKS website. And the Khmer language and culture program. So it's like when you hear the word Khmer language and you know immediately it about the Khmer, but these programs also cover the aspect of the culture of Cambodia. So it's like you are the beginner level, those who have basic Khmer or who has no Khmer language at all, who has never taken any course at all, you can apply for these uh, programs. Like the program in this year, it will start from June 12 until August with 2023, it is a two-month program, quite intensive. It will be in Phnom Penh and application is up until March 31st. So uh, this program like will cover like in class learning, you will learn how to write, to speak and to and to listen and how to require like from basic, from alphabetic. So and you will also attend the presentation from different guest speakers based on your interest. Normally, the, the lecturer, the, the Khmer instructor will invite different speakers to deliver some presentation about Khmer culture, economic development, some kinds of just give you some more idea about Cambodia. And you will also have homework and exams, just like other class that you attend. And then you will also have some fun outdoors activity that that will be a lot of field visit to Kashra and historical site in Phnom Penh and Simrip. You will also experience the Khmer cooking class, classical Khmer dancing, and so on. So it's like a number of activity outside. So it's like the class will be from Monday to Fridays, and then uh, you will like in the morning from uh, in the full in the morning, and then another one hour, one hour and a half in the afternoon for doing the homework with the teaching assistant to assist you on the way as well. And then that would be like. 
So say afternoon or Friday afternoon that you're going out to have different field visits. So for these programs, like what the Khmer language and cultural program from our side, from CKSI will cover. So the program will cover the tuition fee, the study materials such as Khmer book, the transportation to field visit in Phnom Penh and Siem Reap, and also entrance fee to all different sites, and the accommodation during the field visit. But what will you as the student like will cover? It would be like your round trip airfare, your living expense, and especially your time and commitment to the program. So this program we open for both U.S. and non-U.S. faculty and students to participate. But just the difference is for the non-U.S. student, you will have to require require to pay some fee that uh, those information for those who are interested, you, they can send an email to to ask for like how much for the fee. And for the student, the U.S. student who looking for some further financial support for them to attend the program by help covering their airfare or living expense, they can check whether they are eligible to receive the grant uh, to from the flash fellowship or not. So I those this information is available on our website as well. You can check it out afterward. For those who are not the beginner level but from intermediate level, there is another program is from under uh, the advanced study of my language under Hawaii, which is uh, funded by Fubrai Hay. Normally, every year we run the language program in parallel with Hawaii. So it's like uh, at different level, we separate the class, like the beginner level class and the intermediate class. But we have the joint activities and field trip and field visit together. And with this program, for the those who like starting from intermediate level, they can uh have some grant covered by the programs like for the airfare and living is fun but i'm not sure sure how much uh they cover so it's like for anyone who are joining here or virtually on uh zoom if you're interested you can scan the qr code or you can check on cks website there would be a link to this as well that you can see the detailed information now we come to the junior resident fellowship program so the junior resident fellowship program this year will start from July 3rd to August 11, 2023, which is a six-week program in Cambodia. And the program, will, uh, the application starting until uh, March 31st, 2023, but probably with some possibility of deadline extension. If you are interested, you can reach out to us to express your interest that you are you join the presentation today and you would allow to apply and would there be any possibility or a little bit of that like extension for you or not and then we can discuss whether would there be any possibility for that or not so this uh the junior resident fellow program who can apply like the three nationality we have like u.s french and cambodian citizen undergraduate students student who uh or student that not older than 26 years old. There is an age limit, and you are in a good health condition that you can travel and join all the activity of the program. So the junior resident fellow programs, uh, we cover like four weeks in Simrip and two weeks in Phnom Penh. So like you start the first two weeks will be in Simrip as CK headquarter. And then after two weeks, you move to Phnom Penh for another two weeks. And then you move back to Simrip for the last two weeks of the program. So there will be an instructor who will work along the way with you within the program. And during that six weeks, all the students will live and study together. So it's like there are three nationalities. So in total, 15 students coming to join together from different universities and from different countries. And they will always spend time together in one also like doing some research together as well. So they can conduct any research uh, individually or uh, as a group. So it's like every day for the US and French student, they will get one hour for basic my language, just like how you can use your basic learning of the language to communicate with the seller or the people on the street because like, I think it's fun when you, when you go to another country and you know a little bit about the language and then you can start at least say hi in the language. I think people really appreciate that. 
So, and after that, there, there will be a lot of field visits, like two different cultural and historical sites in Simri and Phnom Penh, quite similar to KLCP program, the Khmer language, but within the junior resident fellow program, you can visit many more places and to other sites that probably normally we cannot uh, go into. For example, like the conservation of Onko, there are storage of all the status of uh, move from the Onko to over there and normally we cannot really access to that but through this program we can coordinate and you will be able to see the storage and as i mentioned earlier there will be also like research project that you will have to do individually or as a group and then at the end of the pro of the program you will do the presentation so as you can see it's like some photo like at the bottom that like you see the presentation that uh, the student volunteer to do it in public so that we organize it in person and also live stream on Zoom so that their family and friend can participate if they are not in Cambodia. And if they also love, they, they can also do the presentation just within, just with the fellows so that uh, there's also another option. And at the end of the program, they can submit a research paper, which is like five to 10 pages, but they can also produce in different formats like video, podcast, or in any format that they can discuss with the instructor, whether that's kind of research topic fit to that kind of format or not. We don't want to be strict, just only research paper, but it can be more creative as long as it match to the topic. And the program will cover like the allowance package. We have a allowance package that we provide to the student. They can use it to support uh, the way uh, like etiquette of food or living is spent. But just like I, I would say that it is not much enough that you can use that package to cover the whole etiquette, your uh, your uh, living is spent like your meal. Because like during the six way accommodation will be covered by the program, which is different from the Khmer language program that the student will cover their living expense and also airfare. But this program is like most other things has been taken care by the CKS already. And the local transportation for field visit, the entrance fee to all the sites that you are going to visit, it will be like covered by the program. And yeah, I think that's it from my side. And yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I think uh maybe we just before I I finish I I also would like to invite Briley who was uh the junior resident fellow in 2022. So just really recently she can come and share a little bit about her impression and her experience uh joining the program last year with CKS. Please come. Yep. Hello, <laughs> um, I'm Briley. I'm a junior at Columbia and I participated in the Junior Resident Fellows Program last year and it was the most amazing opportunity. I'm so grateful that I got to go. Um, yeah, I will say that the access that we got to all these different places was just absolutely incredible. Anchor Conservation, oh my goodness, I it was amazing and we wouldn't have gotten to go there without CKS. Um, we met with really Kind of amazing Cambodian leaders and scholars. We got to see a Khmer dance performance. Um, and yeah, we got to spend time in Siem Reap and Phnom Penh. Um, and we just got a really kind of well-rounded view about Cambodia, um, Cambodian history and culture, and then got to do independent research projects. But the highlight by far was the cohort-based um, experience and just getting to know people from Cambodia France and the U.S. Um, we had a ton of fun, and I'm still in touch with all of them. Yeah, it's really amazing. <laughs> you did. You did a senior fellowship and a dissertation fellowship, right? Yeah. No, that's great. That, that's a more individual experience because it's based on your own research. Um, I was actually a dissertation fellow myself um, in the first cohort and a senior fellow later. And I have to say it was really wonderful to have the support of CKS and that sort of connection with other researchers while I was doing my, my research. And so that was good for me too. So now we're, we'd like to turn it over 
questions, questions? Um, okay, so we'll turn it over to uh, Sibling Tor, our head librarian. If you have any question, then feel free to put your question. Hi, everyone. Yeah. I'm Sibling. I would like to uh, introduce about um, CKS Library. As uh, you and somebody already uh, interview and talk about um, our history, so uh, I just uh, go through to <clears throat> yeah, I just go through, through to the library operation. Um, our library located in the bottom next simply and we open to the public free of charge. So um, all people. All, all level, all age, all the people can access to our libraries, not only for Cambodian, but um, the people, the foreigner, the people abroad, yes, can also access to our library. And uh, the library opens six days uh, a week from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m., 1.30, uh, 8, yeah, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., 1.30 p.m. to 5.50 p.m. It's not uh, more longer as a library, library here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay, we have a very nice to very nice building. The one uh, on the left hand uh, we call a reading room is our um, first library and reading room, a library reading room. And the lower left hand is the inside of the library. And the hand uh, on the right hand, as somebody said, we have a long building and we separate uh, two parts. On the right, uh, on the right part is uh, our research library, as you see. Uh, in the lower picture is uh it's inside and the other part is our office. One more. Yeah. Okay. I would like to talk about um our collection. We have um. No. Turn back. Okay. Our collection. We have uh. Included uh, printed material, map, newspaper, and also electronic resource. Next, please. All of our material, there are over 20 uh, printed, uh, 20,000 printed material, and we are specializing in Southeast Asia history, social science, art, linguistics, and the other subjects related to um, Southeast Asian country. This includes a uh, book, research journal, magazine, PhD dissertation. Um, and I would like to mention about the PhD dissertation and master thesis. Uh, master thesis uh, we collect from um, the students from abroad, especially from uh, US, from uh, University of Wisconsin, Cornell, from University of um, uh, Michigan. Yeah. And the other from um, students from uh, France. And also, we collect a research paper from CKF Fellow, affiliate, as uh, somebody said, um, we are, uh, uh, we are, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we, we always receive um, a research paper after um, each project of uh, our fellow and affiliate and scholar. Okay, next please. Not yet. Um, so, okay, okay. Sorry. Yes, we also collect a newspaper. We collect a local newspaper in Khmer, in English and French. And as of now, uh, there are thousands of uh, local newspaper uh, that we collect and we um, Share uh, on uh, our upper side, our um, <coughs> upper floor in the research library. And the other is um, map. We also collect a map that um, it, uh, most of them are um, created by a French. Uh, French researcher during a French colonial period. Um, 
all asked about uh, Southeast Asian geography, administration, and archaeology <coughs> map uh, made, uh, on uh, Cambodia, um, Thai, Laos. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yeah um beyond uh electronic uh beyond uh, our printed material uh map and um newspaper we also collect uh electronic results as of now we collect around uh one thousand hundred digitized book dissertation and thesis from overseas university uh <coughs> All uh, digital um, book that uh, that is a special collection from Eco Collection that we uh, receive a donation from uh, Cornell University, and also we have a digital photo of contact uh, <coughs> contact period in Cambodia in the special collection of the late uh, of the late Dr. Benny Vidiono, CKS board member and trustee. And also the hundred of research paper from CKS research fellow. All those materials are uh, placed uh, in our public computer. So uh, people, uh, the user and researcher, they can access direct directly from our public computer. More than, more than those results, we have um, a hundred of audio and video that we collect, uh, that we uh, get donation from um, Khmer Cambodia Living App. That's a collection of um, video and, do, uh, and audio uh, digital photograph from uh, Khmer traditional music. People can access from our um, public computer as well. So uh, people who do a research on Khmer traditional music, they can um, access to uh, that video that uh, the Cambodian Living Art uh, project they collect from um, <clears throat> from a side, uh, from the research who researcher who do a research from um, um, Cambodian um, um, Cambodian uh, Old people who yes who who still um can know about Khmer traditional music Khmer traditional instrument the video uh, show about how they get uh how they do um instrument of the music how they play how they um uh, can um they play with a uh, traditional uh. It it's mean a natural thing. It's uh a by by um a leaf a tree leaf and there are uh, many kind of uh traditional music that show on the video and uh the photo and audio visual. So the other digit the other electronic uh, resource that um, researcher and user can access on our library th that they can use. Um, we have an application of Khmeru history. Um, even though um, people uh, go to access um, at our tablet in the CKS library, they can also download from um, their phone or their computer. Uh, they just um, type uh, on the Play Store or App Store for Khmeru history, so they can use uh, that app. The app is produced by the Bopana Audio Visual Center, and the 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 app contains a video, audio, and photo, including a survivor test testimony and also actual footage, money, um, music, and more. So for JSTOR and Research Journal, CKS also access, um, subscribe to JSTOR and Research for Life. And the people who are our affiliate and also a fellow can access virtually to JSTOR. That is, um, it's, it's like a special uh, access because we 
didn't allow for a normal user to access a JSTOR virtually. They can access only on our public computer. And also uh, for research for life, the people and user and researcher can also uh, access at our public computer only. Yeah, um, this page is so about uh, the library website. If you would like to know uh, more about our resource, our additional uh, digital resource, you can go directly to our CKS website you, um, by just go to CKS um, Center for My Study website and go to the library. You can um, access to the digital resource that contain a, a lot of uh, website about Southeast Asian resource. And you, you can go uh, on online as well. You can um, read and access and download all of material on the website. So for people who actually uh, have chance to drop by CKS um, um, library, they can uh, please go to, you, you just uh, present your membership card to the library and check in your belonging at the front desk and sign in at the reference desk and you can access our library on, uh, uh, on site. Or you could ask uh, the librarian for assistance. Um, apart from the online access, you can also access uh, off-site to our online catalog. You can uh, go directly to our website and go to library online catalog or you scan to QR code on the upper left hand. You, you will see our public, um, uh, our online catalog. So you can access here. You can uh, register here by yourself, by your own. And then um, all the library resources will come up on the search box for all those material that we have. For those who like to access um, the other digital resource on our library, you can also go to uh, advanced search and then just click on um, electronic resource with the old record or sound recording so that you can access to the all digital um, resource that CKF has. Yeah. Yes, uh, as I um, show you before, you can just log in to, after you sign up, you can uh, log in to, um, your account and you feel you will uh, get a more feature including the ability to access and download e material from the catalog, place item on hold, create and share book list, report problem. If you have any problem with uh, online catalog, you can also um, uh, like inform to the librarian that uh, you have problem with using our, uh, our online catalog or you can request article the quest article is now currently available only for CKS um, fellow and affiliate and uh, the partner. Um, the quest article is meant like um, scan and deliver service. Um, if you search to our uh, online catalog and you interested in any uh, research paper or some part of book that are not uh, have a digital form, you can request uh, to the librarian and then we will consider to scan and send you by email. And also you can make a new purchase suggestion if um, you search uh, in our online catalog for any book or yeah any publication but you cannot um, still uh, cannot find in our library you can make a purchase uh, 
to 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 the library said that oh you want to read this book can you buy uh, the book uh, for us to read for example like that okay okay this is um okay this is um our service yeah and we have a uh, see kind of the user general user cf affiliate fellowship uh, fellow and partner and interlibrary loan so the general user they can on only uh, on site check out uh, cs affiliate fellow partner they can, yes they also can uh, use on on site check out as well the people who are used by uh, interlibrary loan and for outside check out there's a possibility only for sick affiliate fellow partner and through the interlibrary loan and so the photocopy we allow for uh, all kind of a uh, user but in a limited um, amount and for scan and deliver service uh, currently we allow only for sick affiliate and fellow only Next. Okay, that's it from the library part. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. If you have any question, please ask. So I I think we got one question uh, from Simon. So it's like, what are the options for the master's student working on thesis research? That's a good question. Unfortunately, for the time being, we do not have any program for the master's student yet, but we are welcome for the research affiliate. If you're looking for any horse institute for your research in Cambodia, and then you can uh, apply to CKS as well. Right. Ah, oh, okay. For the language and culture programs, like for the U.S., you can also apply for that. For uh, I think there is no any limitation on the degree for the Khmer language and culture program. Any more question, like? on the program or about the CKS and please feel free and also about the CKS result how to assess like please feel free to ask us like and you can send a question on the Q&A and I think that you know, as we still have enough time if you have uh, more questions and you would like to talk directly uh, I think that uh, you can also open the microphone and you can just put the rest hand function and then we can turn on the microphone for you as well if that works much better for you. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so I'm a, a sophomore in the college and th the six weeks in Cambodia sounds like a really amazing opportunity. And I kind of do want to dedicate more time to doing research on Cambodia, like outside of the six weeks during the summer. So I'm wondering if there are opportunities to work with the center, just like during the school year or just during, like if we are able to live on campus during the summer, um, like at, just at Columbia in New York City. So just to just to clarify, you want to know if you want to work um work virtually with the center while you're while you're at Columbia or be yeah, yeah, or... so so in person in Cambodia. Yeah, we get the I think the program is that we have well we have um you can always you know you can always once you're a fellow first of all if you do the fellowship program you're always a fellow and so you're always part of that circle and that community so you'll can stay in touch with um 
other fellows and 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 you know and spend time at at our at CKS, which you could do anyway. Um, you can come to watch them, not to our to um, the library and so forth. And and um, the whole idea is that it brings people who are interested in Cambodia together. So that's you know, and it's a, a great place to sit and do research or base yourself um, with a library there and everything. Um, what are you interested in doing research on? You don't mind my uh, right now, I'm a double major. Mm -hmm. I have done research on the program. When I was doing studying to take a look at the development and that we and and didn't end up getting out of public or anything. Uh, so I guess like where my interest are in the mind is in the foreign age impact on the media and that's very unfortunate and very good reminder that I think that is more about the business. Um, yeah. So if you were, say, based in Phnom Penh, then for the time we also have an office in Phnom Penh. It's not where we host. We do a little, little bit of posting there, but our library and everything is actually in the same rate. But you could certainly drop by there, use that as, you know, somewhat of a base. And we do webinars and live hybrid programming. And so you'd be invited to all of those. We don't have a program that funds extensive research outside of the program's that, that somebody um, um, highlighted during her presentation. So you'd have to get funding from elsewhere if you wanted to spend, you know, that the, the out of program time in Cambodia as an undergraduate, you know, once you're a graduate, you know, student, especially um, like a, a PhD candidate, then it changes. But it, does that answer your question at all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of resources. I mean, the main thing is that to sort of be, be connected. And, and if you get on our newsletter and our um, social media and all of that, we do webinars all the time and all the events that we're going to do and all the sort of calls for fellowship. When we open our fellowships, we then um, advertise those through those, you know, through the website, through the so through social media. We have Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and... Um, and then we have our newsletter that you could subscribe to, but you can sign up for it at the website. All right. Um, so I'm a PhD candidate in political science at Columbia. I was just wondering, because I, I know you guys said that the postdoctoral is just for American French and Cambodian citizens, right? So are there no like options for Southeast Asia, other Southeast Asian nationals to sort of like spend time there to do research? Because I guess I work on, uh, and then I guess that's linked to my second question, which is uh, in the presentation, it seems like there's a lot of resources on like the Khmer Rouge and everything, but I guess I work more on like Mekong, like Mekong River issues. And I'm just wondering, are there also like resources available uh, regarding um, Mekong stuff? Thank you. Um, second, yes, we go to the second question first. Yeah, uh, our uh, results um, cover all um, Southeast Asian history, culture, and also the Mekong region. We have a lot of results on Mekong region. So just go back to your first question about the fellowship program for the Southeast Asian student. For the time being, we do not have the fellowship program for the uh, other nationality besides the three, but you are welcome to use our resource and come to uh, CKS headquarters and sitting and working over there. Because like, the space that we have that we present in our presentations is really open for the public, including the library and our resource. So, whether you are a CKF fellow or you are not CKF fellow, you are welcome to access to benefit from all the resources. Yeah, and affiliation would work for you, but just like uh, we do not provide a grant, but you still can affiliate with CKS as a host institute in Cambodia as well. Yeah, and I want to add about the CKF online catalog. 
uh, even though you are not a uh, affiliate or fellow of CKS, you can also access. Uh, you you just uh, sign up on our online catalog, and you can access to our online resource as well. I, I just want to add that as far as the Mekong region, the region we've had, we've had quite a few uh, scholars as, as fellows uh, working on that topic. We had a bigger project a few years ago on, on the Mekong. And, and at that time, we, we did have a, a grant that allowed us to involve so other, you know, other Southeast Asian in, in the Mekong region. But that grant has expired, unfortunately. We're trying to reconstruct it in some kind of manner. So. Hi, I'm Dara. I'm a senior um, studying history. Um, I was just wondering if any of the programs sort of under its purview, like would you be able to access maybe libraries or archives outside of the CKS programs? Or like, let's say if you were in Phnom Penh, would you be able to travel to like the National Archives and other libraries? Uh, would you be in the timetable? <laughs> it seems like there is a timetable. Um, would you be able to travel elsewhere for research as well? Um, yeah, that, that, that would be. So just, just to clarify here for a second. So you wanted to know uh, in terms, in terms of travel, the distance between like the CKS library and say the national archive. Yeah. Oh, during the research program. So, Right. The programs, both of the programs of the language program and the junior fellows program, they both they both spend time in both places in Phnom Penh and in Siem Reap. So when you're in Phnom Penh, you would have that opportunity. So within the this program of the junior resident fellow program, I think uh, visiting the national archive and the national libraries are one of the activity in the program as well. So it's like you may start to go and visit over there with the introduction from the instructor to the uh, the chef of the library over there. But afterward, I think that during the two week in Phnom Penh, there was some time that uh, the instructor provided a kind of free time for the students so that they can do, they can conduct their research during the two week in Pumping as well. And I believe that if your research is really related to the result within the National Archive, you can also discuss with the instructor that during the time you are pumping, you want to spend more time assessing to all the results. And I believe that the instructor will really coordinate the time accordingly. And as well, I want to add about um, interlibrary loan. Uh, as um, CKS have an uh, interlibrary loan with uh, Royal University of Phnom Penh and CDOI uh, library. So if you are our fellow, um, you can also access um, uh, their resource uh, through our through CKS library. Uh, you just go to uh, their online catalog and you search if uh, there is no there are three result, the resource there is no at CKS library. You can request that. Um, or you 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 can you find um a swan book or one publication at the uh Royal University Library and you want to read that. So you just um inform to CKS librarian and then we will uh, borrow the book from the Royal University for you. Uh, hi, my name is Andy. I'm a senior studying political science. And I was wondering if you wanted to access the Khmer uh, library here while at Columbia. Do you have to create an account or are you, do you have to use your Columbia ID or can you just access it online like as a guest? Um, I would like to clarify uh, with you about um, you, you, you asked if... Um, um, Oh, uh, it's mean that uh, you you just uh, uh use your personal account. It's not only. Uh, so I guess one question I have, um, kind of on library holdings. Uh, so one of just the other research interests I'm doing in one of my classes is researching the media history with just the press in Cambodia, and with the newspaper holdings that you guys have. I'm wondering if 
like through um like on, if there is like any online access or digital access to the newspapers that you guys have oh uh, as of now we we didn't have any uh, online resource uh, of a newspaper yet we have only a physical access Actually, Sibling, you could talk about this much more than me, but, you know, our library, we have some very interesting holdings that only CKS has also. So while we do have, you know, uh, lots of, uh, you know, articles written by our fellows and um, lots of secondary sources, we also have some rare books and some primary sources as well on some things. So. Okay, um, our library, we, we uh, collect a lot of um, Southeast Asian um, social science and humanity that uh, most of the book, um, not not most, but some of these are uh, primary resource, primary source uh, from the um, um, French colonial and from the collection that we, we uh, get donation from uh, some professor abroad, it's like... Um, um, since last year, we got donation, a big donation from Professor George Gass um, at um, Lowell University, Massachusetts. Yet he donated us um, most of his collection is a uh, primary uh, primary source uh, on my literature. Yeah. And also, um, we have um, a lot of um, digital and uh, digitized um, results from Eco Collection yeah, that we got the nation from um, Cornell University. We have a lot of them. Thank you very much, everybody, for attending. And thank you also to Nissian and the Weatherhead for hosting. Um, and if you have any further questions or want to follow up, please um, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you guys want to leave your some cards over there then. And uh, yeah, be in touch and it'd be great. You know, we really welcome you at um, CPS. Thank you.